everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to share a few items that I've been working on this last week, week and a half. Um, I'll do a quick flip through of these little journals, but first I'll show you um, some little <clears throat> fabric postcards I've made for, um, gosh, there's so many uses you could use on these. Um, you could add for a junk journal, I mean, I created them for the junk journals, um, and I think it would be nice to add a little, um, you could glue on a little bit of cardstock to do some journal and actual journaling on, and I may do that, but I left these as they were because I just think these are really nice just to send somebody in the mail. Um, so I just wanted to show you those up close that you know people were asking me were they playing on the back they are um, but as I said you know going forward I'm gonna probably do some variations on it um, but anyways those are um, something I've been doing I love that I'm really getting into um, the sewing and I'm trying to get better on it um, so yeah I really enjoy anything that's got fabric and paper mixed together it's it's just what I'm really enjoying right now. So yeah, very quickly, let me just um, walk you through these. They're all basically the same. It's just, you know, some different colors, but the inside I've left pretty plain. It's just, um, I just thought these would be nice for gifts for people who just maybe don't know that much about junk journals um, and just nice little thing to put in your pocketbook. I love them. Um, these have been, it's the faux uh, leather technique and if you're not familiar with that you can go on YouTube. There's multiple people doing it. Um, I haven't done a tutorial but my way of doing it is to use this Kiwi Quick um, no, Shine and Protect this is a really quick way to do it. Um, I just put it on cardstock, let it dry completely, and then I run it through the Big Shop with an embossing folder. And these are the Anna Griffin um, embossing folders, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> so um, it just gives it such a nice feel. And then on the covers, I've done um, canvas. It's like a canvas paper. Uh, I don't know. I got it in a collection from uh, Recollections. Um, but you can obviously, you know, just use what you've got on hand. And then I went over it with some um, vintage lace material I had. And then I sewn all of the buttons on these, put some um, seam binding that's been crinkled. And it's also been tea dyed, so it's very vintage looking. But inside, I've kept them really basic. Um, there's a pocket on the front and the back of every one. And I've stuck, um, you know, some journaling cards throughout here and there. Done some little, um, all of the papers have been tea dyed. I've stuck some little um, journaling cards and, and little tuck spots throughout. I did, um, all of them's got a little altered paper clip. A little envelope. I've just done various um, pieces. I've got some doilies in there. Um, all of them have this um, waterfall um, flip out with the pocket. This was inspired by Carol Laws. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Carol and she had this in one of hers and then this was gifted to me by my friend Laura. You guys know her as the Papered Soul. So I've put, added that in there. Got a little um, glassine um, bag to put some things. This is um, tea dyed tracing paper. Some little um, envelope pockets where you can tuck some things in. Like I said, I didn't um, embellish this a lot because I just wanted it to be, you know, for the recipient to to journal in and, and they could add what they wanted. They've all got a um, one of my um, shabby chic 
layered tags. If you're interested in learning how to make that, just go through my videos. I've got a tutorial on that. Some more um, tracing paper. I don't know if I said this is a one signature, obviously, and this has been machine sewn in. I did not uh, hand stitch this one, so it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. Another little journaling tag. Um, another, um, each of them's got one of these embellishments. And a little glassing bag with a little journal card. So they, you know, they're not too, too plain. There's quite a lot going on within them, but like I said, not as um, elaborately done as most of my journals. So I just uh, had had several people wanting to see the inside, and I thought, I've got a little bit of time this morning. I'll do a quick video. So they're all just basically the same, and um, I just wanted to show those quickly. This is <clears throat> everything has been added to my shop, so if you're interested in purchasing these, I'll put the link below. But otherwise, um, I will speak to you guys very soon. I hope you're having a good week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.